Hey Fixers and welcome to this video where I want to show you how to join a list of dictionaries into a single one. So or more general even how to join um, multiple dictionaries. So if you have multiple dictionaries into a single dictionary. So and there are many different ways with different advantages and disadvantages and I think you learn uh, you you not just you not only learn how to join these dictionaries into a single one by watching this video, uh, but you'll also become a better yeah. Python coder overall because we will discuss many important concepts such as dictionary comprehension, unpacking, and so on. So let's dive right into it. Say we have the following list of dictionaries here. Uh, it's a list, and the list has five elements. Uh, each element is a dictionary by itself. You see with this uh, bracket notation. And we have key value pairs. So dictionary consists of a number of key value pairs. Like for example, we map the key E to the value four. And now you see we have different keys in our dictionaries overall, like A, B, C, D, E. But then in this last dictionary, we also have the key A. And the key A already appeared um, uh, in the first dictionary. So in this case, we want to simply override the old key. So in the end, we want to achieve um, something like this. I just uh, copy paste it here. So we want to have one dictionary with an um, yeah with all keys that are that exist in all in either dictionary of the list of dictionaries, and we want to overwrite the key um, with the latest key we have seen in any dictionary. Okay. So for example, here you see the key. The latest key is uh, um, a. So the latest key of um, the latest value of key A is 4, so therefore here we store um, the value A4 in our dictionary. So this should be our um, target result. So let's maybe comment this. So now we have the input, we have the output, how do we, com we accomplish this? Okay, so then I'll start with the most Pythonic way, with the best way of doing it, and then we will also look in, uh, into other ways of accomplishing the same thing. So the first way is, so let's, let's write method 1 is uh, to have to use dictionary comprehension okay so dictionary comprehension consists of so if you first create an empty dictionary and now you tell him okay what how to fill this dictionary and uh, you fill this uh, dictionary with like expression and context part these are just placeholders i will replace them so what is our context so we want to iterate over all dictionaries in our list okay so let's call a dictionary call it x so now we we, we, we iterate over all dictionaries in our list and now we want to actually get, get all key value pairs in this dictionary, in our current dictionary, uh, by using the items function. So you see we have a nested for loop. So we go over all dictionaries in our list and over all key value pairs in this current dictionaries. And this way we iterate over all key value pairs in any dictionary of our list. Okay, so we will touch all of them and we will touch the later ones later. So like the key value pairs of the last dictionary, we will touch, touch um, uh, like in the final iterations. And so therefore we will override, um, override the, this uh, key A with the, with the value uh, seen in the, in the, in the, in the last um, um, execution of this uh, iteration. Good. And then what is the expression? Yeah, we simply take the key value pair. And so this is this special syntax of dictionary comprehension. So we give the key value mappings, uh, um, like using this colon notation. So we specify the key value pair. Now, of course, we need to define the, the variables key and w and uh, we, and we have done it here. Yeah. So we, we use this, this items method with which for a dictionary returns key value pairs. We store these key value pairs in our two variables key k and uh, we, and we use this k colon we to indicate the mapping, the new element, the new dictionary key value pair we want to we want to have, we want to put into the, into the dictionary. Okay, so this way um, we have like in a simple, concise, and efficient one-liner we have created the dictionary that consists. So if you if you execute this, uh, we have created the dictionary that consists of all elements. Um, in our in any dictionary okay so we have merged the elements in the dictionary and you see that the value to the so to the key a is 4 so therefore we have overwritten the first uh, value of uh, the key um, a and this is exactly what we want to accomplish okay so the first method is dictionary comprehension the second method is then maybe the naive approach it's called naive approach it's uh, creating an empty dictionary then we go over all dictionary in the, in our list and over all key value pairs in dictionary 
items items again gives us the um, key value pairs a list of key value pairs of a dictionary so for example if you call uh, like we have already stored uh, dictionary D so we can call D items just that you see how it looks like it's an uh, items dict items object and it's a list of key value pairs if you want okay so you can iterate over the key value pairs of a dictionary using the items function and now we only have to update our empty initially empty dictionary with the new key value pair yeah so we we assign uh, so we, we write the, the associated value to the key k like this using this simple assignment notation okay and now we print everything and we are also done so this is an alternative way you see it's, it consists of much more uh, lines of code as the uh, initial one so dictionary comprehension is only one line of code this one is actually four lines of code and it's um, I would say not more readable for at, le at least for advanced Python coders for beginner coders it may be more readable because they just know this nested for loops or for example for Python coders coming to Python uh, for uh, Java coders coming to Python or C++ coders coming to Python they know this this nested for loops very well but um, yeah for I, I think out of the like core Python coders this one this dictionary comprehension is a more readable one okay then there's a, a, a variant of the second method which is the more Pythonic way so if you want to have this explicit uh, notation without dictionary comprehension and I would uh, um, argue for this one so you will again iterate over each dictionary but you won't have a nested loop you just just call the update function and you pass the dictionary over which you currently iterate into the uh, into your um, outer dictionary D okay so you so you repeatedly update your new dictionary D with all the elements stored in, a, in your current dictionary so you go over all dictionaries you simply store all elements into your new dictionary and now if you print the dictionary you also obtain the exact same result okay so you see all of those method methods re result in the same output um, as uh, the other methods okay so this is they are semantically equivalent but only have some like style differences okay so let's check um, a, th a fourth method this method is uh, it's uh, I, I I like it it's uh, it's nice it has a nice look to it but it's not not the best way in this particular example so if you have um, a constant number of dictionaries then you can simply call uh, use the dictionary unpacking method like this so then I will just copy paste this okay get rid of the white space and I will expl explain it in a moment here we have um, you see you use simple list indexing to access each and every dictionary here yeah so here you, you access like list list of zero so this is our list of dictionaries now if you if you use indexing to access the first element with index zero um, then you will obtain a whole dictionary okay so this way this this gives you the first dictionary in your list of dictionary this one gives you your second dictionary and so on until you have uh, the fifth dictionary in your list of dictionaries and you and you enclose them you simply use a comma notation to add to uh, add include them uh, in an outer dictionary okay so you have an outer dictionary and now you put these inner dic these inner dictionaries into it by using this notation but then you use this double asterisk uh, prefix and what does it mean it means you unpack all key value pairs in this dictionary into the outer environment and uh, this unpacking dictionary unpacking is also sometimes used for keyword arguments in python python functions but in this way we, we would just focus on the dictionary unpacking okay and here yeah basically you just have to remember this uh, double asterisk operator on applied to a dictionary will just unpack all the values all the key value pairs in the dictionary into your outer um, uh, dictionary so this way you can manually unpack different di dictionaries into the same uh, dictionary and this is like a nice trick but of course I mean if you want to have 100 elements you need to write all these 100 elements and this is not this is not feasible and you see it generates the same output so we have four times the same output so it's like uh, yeah it's similar but um, you need to like manually um, um, index all the dictionaries dictionaries of your list of dictionaries if you try to be smart so for example you can try to do something like this um, the uh, dict, let's call it dict 
dictionary for dictionary in L. So you try to try to use uh, like dictionary comprehension. You iterate over all dictionaries in your list, and then you try to unpack it into your um, uh, into your outer dictionary. Then Python will throw an error. Dictionary unpacking cannot be used in dictionary comprehension. Okay, so this doesn't work. You have to do it manually like this. Okay, so and then there's a like fifth method, but it's not a, um, so this is not a recommended method at all. So all the other methods you can use in some instances, but this method, I don't see the value of this method, but it's just for comprehensibility. I just wanted to, uh, wanted, to, wanted to include it. Okay, so from collections, we import the chain map data structure and the chain map is, I mean, it's, it's like this in nomen est omen. It already proposes you, so you can create a chain map out of uh, the list. So you unpack all list elements. So you unpack all the dictionaries um, into the chain map constructor. You create a chain map out of it and then you convert the chain map back, back to a dictionary. And then if you print it, you will see that you also have one single dictionary. Um, so let's again run it. That you have one single dictionary that contains uh, like five ele all the key value pairs. But there's one difference that here in, in this case you will maintain the first value. So so if you have if, if a key already exists, it will not be updated by your dictionary um, um, join method. Yeah. So it will not be updated in the chain map. So this therefore it's a bit different. It's also concise as you see, but you need to import a library. So you are, you depend on external things which is often not good. Uh, so for example, if you have a Python web application or so, you don't know which dependencies you can actually uh, use and which not. So adding dependencies is always kind of risky. And if there's a concise way of not adding a dependency, I would always prefer the uh, this one, so the built-in method. And also like it's, um, uh, you, it doesn't allow you to update existing values. So if, uh, if, a, if a key is already there, it will not be updated. Okay, so these are the uh, five methods. The best, most Pythonic way is to use dictionary comprehens comprehension with this nested for loop. So you have four X for each dictionary in the list and then for each key value pair in this dictionary. So this is a very, like this is a trick many many people don't know. Many people know list comprehension, but they don't know that you can also have the nested for loop in, in it to like to iterate over um, over these larger data structures and then over all smaller elements in the smaller data structures and then you can do something with these elements in this case just the identity expression um, yeah but in other case you could also do like you can also change the key or the value cal calculate do plus one or so you can also use the max or something yeah so you can do all kinds of stuff here in the expression but uh, so it's a very simple concise way and also very efficient runtime efficient and yeah this is definitely the recommended way Okay, so I hope you learned something out of it. If you liked this video, then make sure to join my Finkster email academy. I have a link in the description below. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.